Hey guys, what's up? Megan here, as always. Um, I made a video, I think it was last year, when I, when I was in the middle of my bug, and people were asking me, well, John, if you're gonna bug, why don't you just go, you know, all the way out? Because I was dirty bugging at first. And they were like, why don't you just go, you know, there's, there's bulking, there's dirty bulking, and there's powerlifting bulking. That's just like fat ass bulking, right? When you're just eating as much as you can, everything you can until you get as big as possible and then you know obviously you get a lot a lot stronger and then you cut right and i told you guys i, I didn't want to do it because the more fat you have on it's harder to put muscle right and people say oh that's bro science that's bullshit you know there's no science behind that yada yada and i just learned that from experience i realized the more fat i had on like when i was lean i would put on muscle really fast and i get to a point where it doesn't matter what i do to my workout or calories uh it, my muscle gains would go slowly my fat gains would go faster my strength would go um, go up faster, but my my muscle gains would slow down. And um, and so when I said that, they were like, "Oh, it's, it's just anecdote, you know. You have no idea what you're talking about." And I was like, "Guys, it's it's, it's not just anecdote; it's also science." And then when Josh Farr made a seminar with Kai Green, where he mentioned, you know, he said the exact same thing, like almost a year later after the video I made, and he said, um, "He's an expert, so obviously he knows this shit, right?" He said, uh, "What did he say?" He said. If you bulking, you should look like a bodybuilder all year long. And if you bulking in the offseason and you can't see your abs, you're not putting on any muscle, you might as well quit, right? And a lot of people message me and say, oh, John, you know, uh, John Farrell said something similar to what you said. He said that if you can't see your abs anymore, you're not putting on any more muscle. That's pretty much what he said. He said, I didn't go that extreme. I just said it's harder to put on muscle the more fat you have. But he said, you're not building muscle at all, right? And, I mean, I don't know how extreme it is. Hold on, let me pause this. All right, back to what I was saying, guys. So he, so um, there's obviously some truth to what he said. I don't know about the ex the, ex the extreme he went to, saying that you can't put put muscle at all. I don't know about that, but I just know it is harder to put on muscle the more fat you have. And why do I say that? It's also based on science, guys. If you, um, I don't like get going into the details, but if you study chemistry and biology, biochem, they'll tell you that uh, aromatase is what turns testosterone into estrogen, right? A lot of people, I think a lot of people already know this. You don't have to study chemistry for that. Aromatase um, is an enzyme that turns testosterone into estrogen, all the different estrogens, right? Um, and aromatase is found all over your body, but mostly in um, in fat, in adipose tissue, right? So the more fat you have, the more aromatase you have. That's proven, that's not even like a theory, right? You have a lot of fat, you have a lot of aromatase, because there's a lot of aromatase in fat tissue. Like I said, it's everywhere else in your body, but it's also very concentrated in fat. So the more fat you have, the more aromatase, the more aromatase, the more this shit is gonna bind to your testosterone and turn the shit into estrogen. You don't want that. You don't want to turn the testosterone to estrogen. So obviously you want to lower your aromatase and you lower your aromatase by lowering your fat. So that's why the more fat you have, the harder it is to put on muscle. But that's in a nutshell, you know. I didn't, I didn't want to go into the details, but that's the details, the science behind it. For you guys that like the specific fucking truths and shit, that's why I was saying I didn't want to get power lift the fat. You know, um, my stomach is still huge, but I'm not gonna get to the point where even, you know, I'm moving my arm and you see the fucking, what's that shit? Hannah, how do you call that thing um, that you lay down, it's between two trees and shit? It's between two trees. It's between two trees and you lay down and you swing? Hammock. Yeah, hammock, yeah. If you're, if you're shaking your arm, it's like a hammock and shit, something's wrong. You got mad aromatase and you got mad estrogen, right? So it's bad enough, I'm, I'm natural, so I don't have a lot of testosterone relatively to bodybuilders. So you don't want to turn the little that you have into estrogen. You might want to let it go into DHT, which is a whole different video, but um, you don't want to turn you don't want it to turn into estrogen. And the ways of doing that is uh, number one, don't get super fat, right? People say, well, what is the best way to lower estrogen? Don't get super fat. You get super fat, you have too much aromatase, right? And that's number one. Number two, you want to eat obviously cruciferous veggies, broccoli, cauliflower, all these things. Those things are aromatase inhibitors. Um, and number three, you also want to eat you know a lot of fats, a lot of good healthy fats, right? That's gonna promote more testosterone, less estrogen, and things like that, right? Another way to lower estrogen is to lower your testosterone, right? It goes, it goes both ways. I hope this video helps, guys. Don't get power lifter fat when you bulking. That's the reason why I keep doing these bulking cutting cycles. Every time I notice that my gut is getting out of hand, which is like right now, I go into a little two, three week cut where I control my carbs more because um, my carb back loading is all over the place. I cheat too much. All right, hope that answers your question and um, check the description for all the info on the gorilla wear and shit like. That.